Canadian Bolt 10. There's the flag. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Kingston Rock is the first to go. Hey Boy is right there. Transonic is on the outside. Then Magito Magic, and they're followed by Cavalieri. Master to be is near the rail. Chatterton's Keeper's got the blue sleeves on the outside. Then comes Blush of Dawn. Cavalieri's about six lengths off the leader now. Then Lataba. Double Espresso is further back in the run. Then comes Canadian Bowls and Captain Iliador. They're about nine or ten lengths off the leader. Kingston Rock's going to bring them into the stretch. Magito Magic's there. Chatterton's Keeper's on the outside. Hey Boy is near the rail. And they're followed by Blush of Dawn. Latavis towards the outside. Transonic's going to go through down the inside with Master to be. Kingston Rock the leader. Chatterton's Keeper. Latavis running on. Hey Boy's down the inside. Blush of Dawn and running on. Double Espresso. It's wide open coming to the 200. Kingston Rock. Lataba And yes, Double Espresso with a big run on the outside. Side. Double Espresso now comes into the lead over the last 100 metres and Double Espresso is going on to win it. Blush of Dawn will be second. Lataba and Cavalieri involved for third and fourth. So the winner is Double Espresso. This is the Crusade, Lal Yusin, Garth Puller. And this is for the Khalil Pillays, Puller and Angara. And number four on the tote pays 970 and 320. Blush of Dawn runs into second position. And Blush of Dawn also Garth Puller. So nice exacta there at 420 a place. Cavalier is involved. Can we just go back to the finish, please? All right, we'll let you out. Let's just see who runs third and fourth. Cavalieri and Lataba. We'll wait for the judges on that one. Cavalieri's nearest us. Lataba on the inside. Then Chatterton's keeper. And they were followed by Kingston Rock. The tote favourite ended up number three, Kingston Rock. And further back in the run was Transonic. So it was a good victory here for Double Espresso, bred by Clifton Stud, and came good to win it well. Hey boy, is further back in the run. So as we look at this from the side on, number four, Double Espresso is victorious, the son of Crusade, until the running of the seventh, back to the studio. Welcome back to the winner's enclosure. It's been a, a good race for a Garth Puller. His horses have run first and second. Bit of banter going on behind the scenes here with uh, your friends giving you a hard time, Garth. Yeah, he says I've got to wear this mask. I don't know why, but she's never got his on. <laughs> well, um, well done. Well done. First and second, a, a wonderful race for your stable. Congratulations, yeah, thank Garth. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be in trouble with my PA because uh, Kathy's got the second horse and and I'm going to be in trouble there. But, uh, She's that, going to that, refuse to do the books now. Uh, yeah, that filly ran a good race. She ran very well. She's jumping out of her skin. She had a nine draw to overcome, which is not easy. And then thanks to Lyle, nice win. Thanks to um, uh, Daya and uh, Yudi Pele, the uh, staunch clients of the stable, and Kevin Ungara. And then I want a bit of a shout out there for Gerald Khalil. He's, um, he's actually was he phoned me two days ago coughing and spluttering, and he went to go and have a check, and he was positive corona. Went, phoned me yesterday and said he's going into hospital. He went into hospital. And uh, I think he's uh, feeling a lot better. I spoke to him today. He, he's feeling a lot better. He's obviously now got a bit of pneumonia. He's got fluid on the lungs and that, but you don't want to have corona and fluid on the lungs. So, no. Gerald, we wish you get well soon. First and a second. Pretty no, not too first, but uh, very happy about that. And then um, a thank you to the guys back at home, Michael, Sam, uh, and then uh, Wendy, obviously. And uh, a big thanks to Hollywood. I mean, if one stands back and looks at what Hollywood's done for Natal Racing, Unbelievable. A man that took all the risks, started off small. Obviously a very su successful umpire that he's built, but he's put so much back into sport, not only racing. I'd like to thank him very much, the Hollywood team. And I think that uh, many, many would agree with uh, your comments, and uh, thank you for, for, for mentioning that. And uh, we agree with you, Garth. But uh, 
Just go back to double espresso. I said in the preview, the last one, could you give us some feedback just what happened there behind Hexatonic? Um, I, can't, I can't remember exactly. It's just It was probably a little bit too far too soon. But um, in saying that, he's always showed that he's got ability. I haven't really worked out a distance for him. And I must say, Lyle walked into the ring and he said to me, um, Mr. Pulley, it looks like a penalty kick here. And I didn't want to say, well, you're braver than me. But I, I just kept quiet because obviously he studied the form and he rode the right race on him. He doesn't have a lot of speed. But I said to him, you'll, you'll lengthen up the straight, but he won't quick and fast. And he's, he, he moved him off the rail and he, he moved around them and he, he rode a good race. I'm, I must say, thank you. Well done, Garth. Lovely to chat to you and a lovely result for the stable. Congrats. Thank you very much. Let's get the man uh, into the uh, winner's enclosure, Lyle, for the second time today. So, uh, Mr. Puller said he, he didn't really want to say beforehand that he thought you were nuts, but uh, you've proved him right. Congratulations. Yes, look, um, I did say we have a, we could be the lurk in the field. I think he's really heightened my, my explanation there, but um, nonetheless, I did think we, we had a, a chance here, and I thought con conditions were to suit um, with, the, with that headwind, and um, this horse is a big, striding, powerful individual. So um, if we just had a, a, a cover and, and pull into the straight, it was going to work out perfectly. And um, like I said, it, it all went according to plan and, and the horse hit the line really well. So I thought it was a win full of merit. And um, yeah, it looks like he's back on, on, on a good uh, train of form again. Lyle, there was a bit of a scrap going on you know, on your inside, but uh, this horse came just to the outside of that scrap. And you, you punched it at, at, at this horse and, and he responded and, he, and he's won a courageous race. So exciting for the, well, let's say exciting is maybe a strong word, but promising. something to look promising for the future, yes. Yeah, I think that's spot on. Um, this sort of win is a confidence win, especially you know when you can pass horses and hit the line well. Um, but like I said, 600 out is where it all came together and I, I just slid off uh, to a 3D position and uh, made up ground with the horse pulling me through. And from there, I knew I had the race in the bag and the horse just ran through the line and um, obviously perfectly, perfectly conditioned. So well done to Mr. Puller. Well, well done. Long may the hits can uh, keep coming and I'm sure Drakenstein Stud will be thrilled as always. Yeah, as, uh, as I always say, thanks to Drakenstein for all the support. And um, nice to have some of the owners here, of course. Well done to them. Um, I was hoping the youngster earlier could have won uh, to wish Mr. Khalil uh, speedy recovery, but this one's come through and I, can, I hope it makes him feel a lot better and uh, maybe it can turn one positive into a better positive. Well done, Lyle. Thank you very much. Lyle Hewitson, and uh, I see uh, Kevin's gone. Kevin's gone. Didn't want to talk. Not a problem. He doesn't have to talk. <laughs> God. Garth is uh, full of beans, and uh, Kevin Unger, one of the owners, is on course. Uh, he says he's hard of hearing. I don't believe that. I think he's gone to collect in the winning tickets.